it's Sherry Starnes here, and I have a, a couple of tips for you, but the main thing I'm going to talk about today is how to create a URL for an, an image. And that is so you can put them in your blog or you can put uh, images in an email. So I'm going to show you how to create an image and just a couple of the tools that I use. So, um, you know, hopefully this will be helpful and if you'd like more, more tips, well, uh, connect with me. You can go to sherrystarns.com and I'll be glad to share more tips, marketing tips, and information with you. So right now, uh, let's get started. I'm going to share my screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, this uh, this particular website is called um, Photo Bucket. And with Photo Bucket, it's just photobucket.com. What you can do is actually you can upload your images or you can go to uh, your library. You can see I already have several images in there already. There's me at the lake and me with the, some of my mentors and um, on stage, our team, just, uh, you know, I already have a lot of images in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on one of these images. Let's go to... Um, uh, let's just do this one. Let's do this one with me on stage, okay? And uh, or you can upload images. And actually, that's what I was going to show you how to do uh, a way to do that. I'll go back to that in just a second. But I'm going to show you when you uh, upload those images and click on it, then uh, this it gives you different ways to share your image. So the one that you're going to want to use is. <clears throat> excuse me, the one that says direct, and it should, you should just copy that, and it looks like it's, yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go over to uh, get response, which uh, I use for my email marketing, and I started doing this uh, earlier, but I'll get out of that, and this works with AWeber <clears throat> and Kalatu Cloud as well, so I want to get ready to send out an email. I'm going to start with a blank template. And, uh, you know, you will put in your subject line. And then I want to insert that image right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, little square thing. I don't even know what you call it. But then I'm going to... Uh, put in <clears throat> the URL that I just got from photo bucket and it's easier you never be able to type well, I won't say never but it makes sure you copy it copy and paste it because um, You can tell how long that URL is so and and uh, you can also What you want to do is use your image description whatever you have here But you you can see that is going to be huge so you want to uh, click on appearance to make it smaller so I'm going to insert that into my email and see how simple that was. You just go to photo bucket, grab the image and then grab the URL and make sure it's the direct one. Okay. That will automatically come up and then just insert it into your email. And another thing you can do while you have your email here is to hyperlink it and to, um, you can click on it and then you're going to insert you just go right here and insert link. And uh, let's see, I'm going to insert this capture page that I already have open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. We're going to get response right here. And I'm going to insert that, open in a new window. And there you have it. That's all there is to uh, creating an image. Uh, a, a URL for an image so you can put that in your email. You can also put images in your um, in your blog. You can see this is one of my blogs and it's uh, you know I have all these images in there. You can hyperlink link these um, but you don't actually need the URL in this particular format. So anyway I just thought I'd point that out. And a way to create images, another um, tool I'd like to share with you is um, Canva, C-A-N-V-A, and you can actually create your own images in Canva, and then uh, upload them into Photo Bucket, grab the URL, and put it in your email. You can also go to uh, Google, Google Images, 
Tap in what kind of image you're looking for. Maybe it's inspirational quotes. And then grab a quote. Then uh, upload it. Well, let's see. You have to download it or whatever. But be careful with um, uh, Google images because uh, so many of them are copywritten. You know, if you use Canva, they're your own images. So um, anyway, that's all there is to it. You can see how easy it is to get an image and hyperlink that image so that when someone clicks on it, they will go where you want them to go. And uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you would like uh, more marketing tips or even get started in a home business, well, connect with me. Click the link below this video or go to sherrystarns.com. And my blog is actually sherrystarnsonline.com. And there are many marketing tips already there. But connect with me. Go to sherrystarns.com. Make it a great day, and I look forward to talking with you soon.